Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to be answering the question should beginners start using 2.8 or should they just stay with 2.79 and learn from there? Well I've got a few points and I think 2.8, the good things first, it's very stable now. Um, I'm using it pretty much every day and I've not noticed any crashes recently and it's doing really well. There are some minor tiny glitches that I notice every now and again but generally really stable. Uh, it's got EV. I mean that's a sort of no-brainer that you'd want to use EV uh, even if it's just for testing out renders and you want to use cycles and you want to make it look realistic but you can test things out see what they're roughly going to look like in EV and it's kind of instant. Uh, then there's the grease pencil. If you're using anything 2D grease pencil-ish then you should be using 2.8 that's uh, definite uh, but I'll assume that you're more a 3D, uh, 3D person uh, it's quicker to use, generally speaking. I'm finding that things like you go into edit mode and you can press one, two, or three. Instead of having to go control tab and select vertices, edges, or faces, you just press one, two, three on edit mode and you go straight across to them. And that is actually much faster. You'd be surprised how that taking away a click, but again, it's something that you use all the time, uh, makes a massive difference. Okay, so. Uh, there's other obvious things like if you're a beginner and you're completely new to this then having left click as an option I mean it was in 2.79 but it's set up for left click now so all tutorials and things like that are going to be assuming that you've got the basics the basic setup and therefore left click uh, so uh, yes left click I think is a major thing for beginners uh, so it's much more intuitive in that sense um, there's uh, sculpt mode is much nicer as well it's much quicker to quickly select the brushes uh, you don't need to create your own shortcuts you can of course uh, but it's um, I don't find I need to now because I can just quickly go up and click on the brushes rather than have to click the brush and then choose my brush uh, which you have to do in 2.79 it's that added click that takes let's say a second but that soon adds up and it just sort of disrupts your flow uh, so they've really thought about that in 2.8 and uh, why have I put brushes down there? No idea. Brushes? What's the brushes? No. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about, the brushes. <laughs> Sorry, my notes are uh, a bit confusing. Uh, the outliner as well. Um, you can group things in your outliner much easier now, and it's, uh, it's got collections instead of layers, and that's just so much more straightforward and so much easier to understand. So there's lots going on in 2.0. There's lots I haven't touched on as well, and there's probably lots I don't even know about yet. So I'm still learning as well. Uh, so it, yes, it makes sense to change. If you are like me and you uh, are happy and comfortable in 2.79, I would strongly recommend moving across to 2.8 now. Uh, but obviously don't sue me uh, when it crashes or anything on you and it, just because it doesn't on me. Uh, but I'm using fairly old kit as well. It's a, a GTX 980 uh, and a fourth gen i7. So it's not new kit that I'm using. So um, I imagine if you're using newer kit then it will run even better uh, because I would have thought they'd set it up for that. I don't, I'm just pulling my ignorance now. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I think it makes sense to change if you are comfortable and let's say intermediate or advanced user, you should be changing in my opinion. Uh, why should you not change? Well, if you're a very um, early beginner just getting into Blender, then uh, the tutorials out there and the guides are going to be more likely for 2.79. Uh, so it's going to take a little while before there's beginner tutorials for 2.8. Uh, therefore, you're going to find it harder uh, to find uh, the things and that's just another step to learning, another barrier to learning. If you're looking at 2.79 tutorials and trying to figure that out in 2.8, it's intimidating enough as it is a 3D program, any 3D program. So it's quite a tough one. I'd understand people thinking, well, uh, I don't want to have to relearn a new set of uh, controls. Uh, yes, then maybe uh, put off uh, learning until 2.8 comes out in that sense. I, that seems really counterintuitive for me because I'm very much about uh, just do it, just go and learn. Uh, and in some ways, uh, I, I think you're gonna have a, a bit of a wait anyway as 2.8 comes out and those tutorial people like myself start building up tutorials on, in 2.8. It's gonna be a bit of a while before the release and those tu tutorials come across. Uh, I mean, obviously you can look at the documentation. There's not a lot for 2.8 yet. Uh, so that's frustrating as well, uh, as a beginner this is. Uh, it's frustrating uh, for advanced users, if I can call myself an advanced user. Um, 
I, I sort of find I find that I lose things. Uh, find that I lose things. Uh, I lose menu things, and you're thinking, where on earth have they put that now? Uh, or they, you feel like they've taken away functionality, but then you realise that there's a reason. Uh, generally speaking, um, so. It's very difficult. It depends what sort of beginner you are, whether you're at an intermediate level. But I would actually suggest for a base beginner, uh, you may not want to move to 2.8 just uh, yet and start working in 2.79 just because uh, of that tutorial resources out there and all these uh, YouTube um, uh, people like me uh, are still, uh, uh, most of our tutorials are in 2.79 generally speaking. Um, yeah, so it's that step to learning that uh, is, is, it's another barrier in the way of you picking things up and we want to break down those barriers as much as we can as learners. Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, in fact, I suppose uh, the other thing to point out there is that um, if you do get any glitches in 2.8 and you're a beginner, you don't know whether that's you or the program. Uh, one example is baking out normal maps, not that um, beginners are going to be doing this much, uh, that's more an intermediate thing, uh, but I find that um, I press it once and it says uh, we can't do this and then I press it again and it will do it. Uh, it's things like that. Uh, but most of those glitches are being ironed out now. I've noticed in sculpt mode there was a, a sort of undo error, so you'd press undo and if you pressed undo too quickly it would just remove all your sculpting from that session, which is a bit of a killer. But I haven't found that anymore, but I haven't done loads of sculpting recently. But as I was getting towards the end of Sculpt January, I noticed that that wasn't happening much anymore. So I think they've ironed out those glitches as well. So we're really getting there. And I'm sure it's not going to be long now before they actually release it fully. Uh, so my advice would be, if you are a complete beginner, I'm afraid I'd say stick to 2.79. That's my advice. Uh, but if you don't mind that barrier uh, to learning or trying to figure out where things are in the program, and you're one of these people that plays a lot when you're learning, uh, then go for 2.8. But if you like that sort of rigid, uh, they said this, I'm doing it type of learning, then, st uh, then stick to 2.79 for the time being, and then you will have to relearn with 2.8. I don't think it would take too long. It's quite quick to pick up, and it's just sort of uh, muscle memory, as it were, and keyboard clicks and things like that. Generally, I didn't find it too bad except for the little glitches that I wasn't sure whether that was me or the program. Um, so it's, it's a bit tricky from that point of view. So uh, that's my advice. If you want to chat to me, you can get across to the Discord server, uh, which links are in the description. We've got a competition running at the moment. Uh, the theme is deadly, and uh, that's uh, Monday, isn't it? Monday is the deadline coming up. So if you're watching this in the future, well, 2.8 is probably here. 2.9 might be here by now. I don't know. If you're still watching this, uh, what am I talking about? That's enough from me. Um, I will see you next time.